Hey everyone, Nemia from OnClick Media Solutions. So a friend of mine in the UK sent me a question via email the other day asking, how does he have WordPress run from his domain name when it's not installed in the root directory? So I thought this was a great question um, and there are a couple of tutorials up there that show you how to do it, but what better way than with a, a video tutorial? So I, ho I hope this helps. So the first thing you want to do is you obviously want to go to wordpress.org, you want to download WordPress and you want to install it in your root directory. Now what I've done is I've created a folder called WordPress which is sitting within my root directory and if I go into the WordPress folder I've got the WordPress files. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to the WordPress directory and complete the install. So I'm just going to go through all of this. Right, so we've got WordPress installed now. Now if I head over to my domain name, which is localhost finewaveenjoy.com, you'll see that nothing's working yet because we've actually installed WordPress within the WordPress directory. If I go into the WordPress directory, there's our, our WordPress install. But we want to change this. We want our WordPress to be showing here. So how do we do this? Well, you're going to have to go to where WordPress is working and you're going to log in. So let's just log in quickly. Right, once you've logged in, you're going to go to Settings, General, and here are the two important fields. WordPress addresses the location where the WordPress is installed, and this is correct. We've got it installed in the WordPress directory. Site address is where we access or where we view that WordPress install from. As we can see, it's saying show the WordPress in findwaveenjoy.com forward slash WordPress, which we want to change. We want to show it and just find wave and jewelry so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove these lines now we now we're telling the word and save the changes now we're telling WordPress hey WordPress is installed here but we want you to show that install here which is what we want right the next thing we need to do is you're going to have to go using your FTP go into the WordPress directory and copy the index file make sure that you're doing this after you've changed and updated this information. So I'm going to copy the index file and I'm going to paste it into my root directory. Then you're going to want to open this with whatever text editor you use. And you want to update this to say WordPress or whatever directory you've named it. I've named it WordPress. So I'm saying go and fetch the WP blog header from the WordPress folder. And I'm going to save that. Now I head back to the site and I go to findwovenjoy.com without the WordPress, you'll see that my site now loads from the base domain. Hope that helps. If there's any questions, please just uh, put them in, in the comments at the bottom and I'll try to help and answer your questions. Um, otherwise, you can email me at info at onclickmediasolutions. Best of luck. Cheers. Bye.